Rockwell Group is all about spectacle. Whether it's for a Hall of Fragments at the Venice Architectural Biennial, the most recent Academy Awards ceremony, or the Walt Disney Family Museum. The Rockwell Group, founded by legendary architect and designer David Rockwell, is focused on creating dynamic, immersive, interactive environments. That's what Rockwell's James Teichner and Joshua Walton are designing for Plug and Play, the central installation for the 2010 San Jose Biennial. It will be a performative celebration of city life that incorporates physical and virtual activity into one cohesive futuristic extravaganza, projected onto City Hall. The lighting of Plug and Play will kick off the festival on September 16th. We're excited, at, you know, it's an urban scale installation, meaning that it's going to be on a large part of the facade of the building and you'll be able to see it from quite far away, which will act as a bit of a beacon. And then when you arrive on site, There'll be different interactive objects that range from a networked version of Hopscotch, the children's game, to um, hooking up the street lights and tables and a megaphone and all of these different activities to interact with that you can sort of see how they all feed into this representation on the facade of the building that represents the complexity of the civic space we live in in a way that I think is fun. Plug and Play is a progression for Teichner and Walton, an outgrowth of work started on luminodes, a set of network lighted objects. That effort enabled Digital Confetti, a one-night installation in May 2009 for Metropolitan Homes Design 100 Gala at New York City's Four Seasons Restaurant. So, how is it for these two to work together? <laughs> <laughs> so... Uh, you know, we, we come from d different backgrounds, and I guess to summarize that uh, or essentialize it, it's like a har har hardware and, a, and uh, architecture, and I come more from software and graphic design. And I think that together we think about problems at different scales and constantly are sort of challenge challenging each other about different aspects of the project and challenging each other to solve the problems we don't want to solve. First, I'm very interested in making objects that blur the physical and virtual, that connect those two, and also in creating connections between people, in allowing people to have a shared moment when they're in that space, of people to, to be using it together and create new stories about how they used it, or to find new uses for these, these objects and for that space, and to really challenge the way we think about what what a connected city or a city of the future is going to be like. The idea of build your own world, we, we knew that early on, and I think that that was why um, we were so interested in the project, is because building our own world isn't easy, and so we're thinking about tools to help people do that, the tools we wish we had to do that, um, and also thinking about if, if that were to happen, what would we make? I hope that the visitors to the space begin to think about all the things around them that are already networked together and also play with those ideas. You know, if you think about all the traffic that's being recorded and what do we do with all of that data and what are interesting ways to represent that and how could that become a kind of new form of civic engagement? Both men hope this temporary installation will lead to more permanent exhibits that marry both the physical and virtual. We're able to take some chances with it being more of a playground and being more of a temporary event that I think we'll really learn from it. And then seeing people play with it, seeing, the, seeing it with everyday people and the public, I think is, is for us going to be priceless in terms of, of what we take out of it. Teichner and Walton will be on site during the entire festival. They're looking forward to meeting people from other disciplines to see how they celebrate art and technology. I love that it happens in a place, that it happens in San Jose. It could, I and I that. think that if it happened somewhere else, it wouldn't be the same thing. You know, it'd just be a different type of event. And so you have to come and be on site and see and experience the things firsthand, which is something, you know, we're interested in. With the background in making spaces, you know, we believe in spaces. Absolutely. I think that's one of the things that really drives our work is that it's situated in a, in, not just situated in a, in space, but situated in a specific space. It has a specific program. It reacts to, you know, the, the people who are there and what, what they they do. And that's, that's very important to us that it's, that, that the art, the art of placemaking rather than just the art of space making.
The 2010 01 SJ Biennial runs September 16th through 19th in venues throughout downtown San Jose and in satellite locations in Silicon Valley and San Francisco. For more on the 01 SJ Biennial, visit 01sj.org. The 01 SJ Biennial is produced by 01, the Art and Technology Network.